Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm just going to teach you how to create Google Forms. So usually Google Forms will be created uh, to uh, enter uh, online application forms like application forms, the forms which we are submitting for webinars. So, so that is what Google Forms and we can create even a test for students using this Google Forms. So I'll teach you how to create Google Forms. First we have to open a web browser. Uh, so for this actually you need a Google account, Gmail account. Mm, without Gmail account you cannot create Google Forms because Google Forms is an app which will be um, which will be coming along with your Google Google account. Okay. So now open any browser and go to the web address bar and type Google Forms. And press enter key. So this will take you to the Google Forms website. So here select this option. So the same procedure is same uh, in mobile and in PC, or laptop or desktop, whatever it is. The procedure is same. Only the options, the place of the options uh, available will be changed. So that I'll tell you where the options will be available. So as I've already signed in with my Google account, this will take you to my Google account. Okay. So I'm just going here to Google Forms. If you are not signed in, uh, the first page will be like sign in to your Google Form. Okay. So this is Google app page actually. So here we have different apps like Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms. So Google Docs is used to save your uh, documents like Word, uh, Excel, PowerPoint. You can uh, save any of your saved documents over here. Okay. And then Sheets, Google Sheets is used for it is like online uh, Excel sheet and then Google Slides is nothing but online PowerPoint, okay? And now we are going to use Google Forms. So here we have two types of forms for personal purpose and the business purpose. Business purpose, if you select this one, uh, you have to buy it actually. It's not free of course. And there, because it has more security and options for the team members to access, because if you select this personal one, only the uh, presenter only who created this uh, form can see all the information okay but if it is a business purpose anybody in the team has to see that okay so that is the difference between personal and business now I'm going for personal and select go to Google Forms so it will be taken to the home page of Google Forms okay so this is the go uh, home page of Google Forms here we have some designs which means templates template is nothing but pre-designed format okay so um, uh, this format will help you uh, so because uh, you just need to edit it, the information, that, uh, the designs, everything is al already there. You just need to edit the information. If you want to add anything, you can add if, or if you want to delete uh, with, uh, the already available one, you can do. Okay, so this, is, this will help when you are going to use the same kind of uh, form. So as we are going to create it for educational purpose, I'm just uh, going to tell you how to create a question paper like a form using this blank okay so click on this blank option so this is our Google form page okay so untitled the form name of the form okay here we have two options two tabs questions and responses questions where our forms will be available responses so when a user is responding that will come over over here automatically okay so just go to questions and then um, uh, untitled form is the default name of it so definitely we have to give a name for this so I'm just going to give the subject name as computer science okay so when you are typing and once you finish typing you can check here the saving automatically all changes saved in drive post drive your gmail drive or your google drive okay so all the you no need to search for the save button whenever you uh, type uh, it will save automatically in your google drive okay and form description it is about your form so you can type so in the title i've given uh, like uh, name of the subject and here i can give like chapter 1 uh, computer language, a uh, lesson name, okay, or uh, like uh, if you want to add any description like a question paper, uh, you can add over here like um, first uh, Roman letter, I mean first section will have, will hold one, uh, fill in the blanks, so second section will hold the MCQs, so in, in that way also you can give a description over here, and then uh, first question is already available over here, so I'm just clicking on untitled the question, so before typing the question, we need to select the type of the question, okay, which type of question we are going to use, so I'm just clicking over here. Here we have so many options. So let me explain one by one. So the first two is for uh, the answers to type. Okay, short answers and paragraph. And then here we have multiple choice questions, check boxes. Multiple choice questions will allow the user to select only one option. Check boxes, 
the users can select more than one option drop down they will click a list they will click on the list they will get a drop down list only they can select the option only from the selected list okay just like uh, uh, mcq okay so these are the options file upload is used to select the up, uh, file which you already have and these are the way to show your answers okay and if you want to insert date and time you can insert over here okay so mostly we can add this because um, we will come to know on what date at which time they are doing the test okay um, so let me uh, type the question so let me select the first one as a short answer because our first one I'm going to use it for name okay so uh, based on your question the options will change based on this question type the options will change and you can add even image here in this uh, question uh, because in English science and all we have questions based on the picture which you are showing so in those cases you can add pictures over here and the important thing over here is required so if you select required you will get a star after this name a red color star so without even filling that particular field your students cannot submit the form so that is the use of required and then the uh, two extra options is description description about this particular question response validation whether you are going to take this question for the validation or not okay so the response of this particular question will be taken for validation or not so that can be selected and delete question duplicate question duplicate is like copy paste okay so there are some other options which are available are here so in mobile we will be having these options at the bottom of the screen okay the first question is for add question first option is add question which is used to add one uh, many questions the next question Second one is import questions. So already I have set of questions. I just wanted to import it. Let my students see that and let them write it and upload the answer. So in those cases, you can select import questions. And this is add title and description. So here I have a title for my form. Okay. So yeah, suppose if you want to add any section headings like uh, fill in the blanks, uh, MCQ. So in those cases, you can select this option. And then this is used to add image. Same option okay and then this is used to add video and this is used to divide your page into sections okay section one section two so that once they finish the first section they will be taken to second section automatically okay and let me second question as mcq okay and now i'm going to type which is uh, your country so i'm just typing the questions for example don't ask me why am i typing how would how the country name is coming at a computer science subject okay so um, options so first when i type here name i was i just got short answer text a single line and here if you check uh, i have selected mcq so i'm getting space for options and one more thing here we have got star which is a required field so without completing this particular field students cannot submit the form let me come back over here so let me type the name of the country sorry India and then uh, even here in the options you can add images okay uh, add other so if you go to add other so you can just um, like other okay so it will come automatically and then here let me type us so these are the three options I'm going to give suppose if you wanted to change the order of the options okay so when you are just keeping your mouse pointer over here you can see the six dots over here just click and drag so that you can reorder this um, option okay so let me add one more question what is computer all these I'm just typing for example and let this question is short answer okay so now I wanted to reorder these questions first I taught you how to reorder the options now I'm going to tell you how to reorder the question just click over here on the six dots and click and drag so you can reorder these questions okay so that's it the questions can be reordered in this way okay so enough of it and let me teach you how to uh, design your page okay and here we have themes just click on themes uh, this is for header like in facebook we have background dp right so this is like that so you can upload your uh, photos your own photos also okay photos from this photos is from google photos okay and then this is like uh, uploading your own photo from your mobile and this is uploading google, from google photos okay uh, whichever photos are available in your mobile this, that will be automatically con uh, being loaded in google photos right so you can select from that also and then but i'm just selecting from themes so based on your topic you can select any one so yes there is no option for computer now we have many for chemistry 
Okay, so let me select something and select insert. So this is a header, so which is coming at the top of your Google form. Okay, uh, and then this is a color for your. So this color is for a header. Okay, so you can choose whichever you want. So this is also based on your options. So here is the background color. So background color is this one. Okay. And then font style, we have only four font style. So font style will change automatically for all the questions and the options also, okay. So that is for font style and this is all about themes and then here is a preview. I'm just going to preview. Preview, so this is how your form looks like for the student, okay. So let me fill this form and show you. So I'm just typing my name and then what is computer. It is and electronic machine it's up, which is a country India I'm just submitting okay so here we are getting clear selection we didn't even do anything when we are doing this question it is coming automatically for all your MCQs so they can clear the selection and they can select uh, some other option okay I'm just clicking on submit so submit another response so a single student can submit more than one form to so restrict this Go to settings, collect email addresses. So we have three options over here. First one, collect email addresses. So if you, if you want the email addresses of the persons who are uh, submitting your form, you can select this. So this we have to select, limit to one response so that one student can uh, type the answers only one. Okay, so edit after submit. If you want to allow them to edit their responses after submit, you can select this as this is like a test. Um, we are not going to select this. And then presentation, uh, shuffle question order. This will be like um, the students will not get the questions in the same order. They will get the same question, but they will not get the same get in the same order. Just like your, uh, um, entrance exam question papers like uh, set A, set B, set C, we have right. So in the same way, they will get. Questions will be same, but the order will not be same. The other questions will be shuffled for each and every uh, student. Okay, so that um, you can select it so that they cannot uh, make a call and ask, this, uh, ask their friends like uh, what is the answer for first question in those ways. So uh, if you want to add any confirmation message, you can do here. And then quizzes, this we have to do a select it definitely when it is a one word answer and make this as a quiz so that uh, Google will co correct your answer sheet I will mean a response is automatically and it will add marks automatically okay so whether you are going to release the grade immediately after submission or once you finish your checking okay and then uh, re respondent can see missed the questions point values so these are the correct answers all those things and I'm just clicking on save so now here at the top I'm getting responses one Okay, and one more important thing is untitled form over here. Okay, so the uh, for, for title of the form will come over here automatically. Suppose if you want to edit, you can even edit here. So which for whichever class it is, class is computer science. So that when it is being saved in our Google Drive, will it is easy for us to uh, check. Okay, so I am just uh, going to save this in a particular folder. Actually, this will be saved just like that. So, if you want to move this to a particular folder, just click over here. Whichever folders are available in your drive, uh, that will be shown over here. Okay, so if you want to select, you can select anything. Or you can go here and you can um, select a new folder. Okay, so after uh, selecting a particular one, just select move over here. So, already I have one like online classes. I'm just clicking here and I just clicking on move. So it is moved to my online classes. So it is there in my Google Drive and the folder name is online classes. Okay. So now if you uh, let us check here. Okay. So total responses. Okay. And summary. How many students? Average points, medium points, range points and how many responses? Who has responded and their response. Okay. So it will just tell you 100%, uh, I mean, uh, how much they responded, okay. And then the question, okay, so this is question-wise. Okay, so first one is summary, and then the second one, question-wise, you can check, okay. What is the first question, what is the second question in that way. And then individual's per performance, okay. So you can check. So when, only when you get more responses, you can see all these things. So response one, I have, as we have done only one response. So if you click over here, we can check the number of responses we got. Okay, and you can check zero of zero points score not released because 
I have just selected like only after my approval I have to release the score. Okay, uh, so 